Hi guys, part two, human suffering. Now, so when you go through a spiritual awakening, one of the first things that occurred to us, one of the first things that happen is we realize I am not the mind, I am not the body, right? You are something else, right? And that the body is our vehicle right now. This present body that we have is our vehicle. And for now, this vehicle is serving us. This vehicle is serving our purpose, which is basically just to have the experience that we have signed up to have using this body as our vehicle. So it is what serves us best. Now, as we're having this spiritual awakening and we go through this realization, does that mean that your suffering that has that you've already been at the behest of will end? No, not really, not immediately. It doesn't go off. Now, as you have this realization, initially there's like, oh, wow, you know, I know I'm not the body. Initially, it's a very mental exercise as well, leading up to an awakening. But when you have an awakening, yes, there has been a paradigm shift of consciousness, but you must allow for that to sit in you. So the body will have to go through a healing crisis. So every imprint that this body and this particular vehicle has had will have to be worked out, worked through. So it's not a question of, well, let's just put some cello tape on it. Let's put some handy plast on it and that's it. I'm, I'm now having a spiritual awakening, you know, so I don't have to deal with any of the cobwebs. I don't have to deal with the shadows, the darkness and anything else. And the darkness really is who we would have morphed into as a result of all the atrocities committed upon us everything that we really wanted to say and that we couldn't which i've spoken to uh, spoken about in another post about the beast inside of us now so the spiritual awakening initially doesn't guarantee that oh wow you know you can say bye to your human suffering and neither does it invalidate it right nobody says that the suffering wasn't suffering okay so Initially, it is that you will be blissed out for a while. You might go through moments of ecstasy. You might have these amazing epiphanies and you're really on top, right? And then the nitty gritty of this as the awakening process takes over, you'll find that, whoa, but hang on, I still have a pattern. There's still some conditioning. There's still some limitations. There is still this bugger mind. What do I do? How do I get rid of this? Right? And what you'll realize is as you're going through, right? It simply doesn't leave its hold on you. And again, it depends of how much power we've given to what, how much awareness do we have? Are we trying to shut the mind off? Because if you try to shut it up, it's only going to get louder, right? So we just become aware and we realize, whoa, wait a minute, mind, you're coming up again. I am not the mind. And we are simply aware and we let it do whatever it's doing. But because we are aware, we won't be giving power to that. Now, as we are going through the process, the suffering begins to sort of slot into place. How it slots into place is we start to integrate that, yes, this body went through that, right? So we rewrite our story and how we rewrite our story is that it is not down to me that I suffered. I didn't do anything wrong, okay? So it was about whoever did whatever they did. You, you basically reclaim that part of you. You reclaim your fragmented sense of self. You bring it back and you bring that joy back gradually. <laughs> Then you acknowledge what has happened as a result of that, the imprints it has left inside of you and how that has impacted relationships, your view on life, right? You might be somebody who's always looking for danger. You might be somebody who yourself might be a bit narcissist without even knowing you are or you've just developed. And remember, there is no judgment here because that narcissism will come from a place of where a child wasn't seen, a child wasn't heard. And so now the toddler who should have really had his day and didn't, 
get his or her day he now wants it so you'll have developed all sorts of coping mechanisms to get your way to shout to scream to throw a tantrum right and to a point where if people aren't bending backwards for you then you don't want to know them then cut them out cut them out cut them out so you know we have all sorts of various mechanisms so this is all what would have happened as a result of the sense of self becoming fragmented and which is what we go through during a spiritual awakening process now during the spiritual awakening process not only are we integrating these beautiful celestial energies and how we are now viewing the whole world but we're integrating our own suffering we're integrating the effect of the suffering and as we do this when that effect starts to wear off from the initial suffering and the way it also wears off apart from you integrating the suffering and the effect of it you start to because of your awareness you know oh hang on this isn't me right now this is the old me this is the old fragmented self popping its head up well i'm not that right i'm not because you are now identifying with all that so you are infinite you are this cosmic being you are a celestial being galactic being however you want to call it a soul spirit whatever but you know that your infinity personified so you'll find that the hold that the suffering or the effect of it starts to wear off and the last thing is that you will no longer call upon yourself any acts born of a contracting contracting consciousness unto you and neither are you going to perform these unto others you stay away from human drama it doesn't interest you you don't participate in it and neither do you encourage it if anyone comes to you for good counsel that's what you give good counsel that comes from an expanded consciousness or one that is expanding so you are not going to be igniting or reigniting the fire when people are having an argument or you know whatever it is gossiping or human drama but you take a completely different stance and these little incremental acts of kindness you know compassion all of this then goes towards alleviating human suffering so as we perform such acts and as we live more heart centered live more heart centered lives right that in turn raises the vibration raises the frequency of human existence as earth herself is going through an upgrade as we are doing all of this this will have a ripple effect on all those who are either still asleep or are about to wake up and you are the forerunners you are the ones who are now bearing the light you are the ones who have got the torch you know so you are the torch bearers eventually it will be a new earth anyway right so as you're going through this remember folks human suffering is born of ignorance that is i am just this body we are the vehicle right and believe it or not we have chosen even the suffering right and it will all make sense to us because we are experiencing it who is suffering who is suffering this body that is like a piece of clothing that you're wearing which you're going to discard and then you're going to wear another body and it goes on and on and on this is a cycle right there is no death death is simply a part of life right and as you go through this once you're an integrated awakened being right you can then go and spread this beautiful beautiful essence of life because you yourself have become the epitome of joy within right no matter what is happening on the outside you know that here we are one in love lots of love to you take care